Hello, my friend, how are you? Uh, let's have a look really quickly how you can run a chi-square test on SPSS. But before we start, just reminding quickly, uh, chi-square test is a test of association. Um, so it's between categorical variables. So it's very much like a correlation test, but instead it's for categorical variables. So for nominal or ordinal data, um, so often used when you measure the frequency to which something happened. So for example, in marketing, it's a very common thing when you measure, for example, um, the amount of consumers that you have with a particular characteristic. So the amount of male consumers, female consumers, or the amount of consumers who bought a particular product. And you want to see if there's an association between that and another category. So for example, um, if there's an association between people with a particular income and the products that they buy, or uh, if you want to see if there is an association between the, ty the time of the year, the season or the month, and uh, I don't know, the frequency of consumption of a particular product and so on. Okay. But before we do the test as well, something really important to keep in mind is that you cannot, you cannot assume causality with chi-square test. You can only assume that there is an association between the variables, but you cannot say that one causes the other. Okay. So for example, uh, to highlight this, I'm going to show you a very uh, strange example that I have here, completely fictitious, in which I have here two main variables, um, alcoholic drinks and accidents on stage. So I want to see if there's an association between the drink that musicians drink before walking on stage and if they had an accident, if they fell on stage or not. Uh, okay. And I have here a simple coding for alcoholic drink in which I have beer or tequila. So I want to see the musicians who drank beer and the musicians who drank tequila. And, and I want to know if they fell on stage or not, if there is an association between those two. All right. So to do the test, we're going to click here on top on analyze. So if you're not familiar, I'm not, I don't know, this is where all the tests happen. So on analyzing on top menu, we're going to scroll down to descriptives and to cross tabs. Okay. And then this window pops up here. So we have two main things, row and column. And uh, simply you need to drag here the variables that you want to test for the association. All right. It really doesn't matter which one you put in the row, which one you put in the column. So I'm going to drag here alcoholic drink to row, row and accident on stage to column. You can um, run cross tabs with more variables also if you'd like. But to keep it simple for the example, I'm just going to leave these two. Uh, what's important here on the other options, click on statistics. We're going to check here on chi-square because that's what, we're, uh, what we want to do. Click on continue. On cells, um, it's important to click here on expected because there is an assumption um, that we need to check for chi-square. And also on the percentages, I would suggest clicking on row, column, and total because that's really important for the interpretation. And um, yeah, for now, I'll leave it for here. Go and continue. And uh, yeah, there's some other options, but those are the main ones that you need to run a chi-square. Okay. So we're simply going to click on OK, and then we're going to check now our output. So this is what we got. Drag here the camera to the top. So on the first one is simply a uh, summary. So N is the number of participants. We have 191 participants. And scrolling down, we have our frequency table. So the first thing that Chi-Square will do is give you a frequency table. I have here my two variables, alcoholic drinks, people who drank beer and people who drank tequila and accident on stage, people who fell on stage and people who did not fall on stage. Um, the count is the actual number of people. So for example, with beer and it fell on stage, I have 10 people. So 10 people who drank beer fell on stage and 27 did not fall on stage. So 27 musicians that drank beer did not fall on stage. So a total of 37 people who drank beer. With tequila, I have a total of 154. So it seems like a lot of musicians are drinking tequila before walking on stage. Out of those 154 that drank tequila, um, 106 fell on stage. So lots of them that drank tequila before walking on stage fell. And 48 did not fall. All right. So that's the total count. That's the absolute number. Now, the frequencies uh, will also give me some further information. 
So for example, percentage within alcoholic drink. So within the people that I have here, within this 37 that drank uh, beer, 10 that fell on stage, this represents 27%. Okay? And these 27 out of 37 represent 30, uh, 73%. Okay? But it also gives me percentage within accident on stage. So for example, within accident on stage, I have a total here of 116. So 116 people fell on stage. Out of these 116, 106 drank tequila and 10 drank beer. These 10 from this out of this 116 that fell on stage represents only 8.6%, 8.6 within accent on stage. And 106 that fell on stage out of this 116 represent 91.4%. So a lot of people who drank tequila, a lot of musicians that drank tequila actually fell on stage. And if we scroll further down, we have our chi-square test. Oh, sorry, I forgot one thing here as well, which is the expected count. Um, because there is an assumption of, um, for chi-square that you cannot have uh, very low numbers of cases per cell. And usually the, the minimum count is five. See here on chi-square test, zero cells have expected count less than five. That means that our assumption has been met and that is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so if I scroll down here to chi-square test, the main thing to look out here is our first row, which is our Pearson chi-square. So it gives us our value, our Pearson value, our degrees of freedom, which is obviously one, but it gives me here my significance value, which is clearly below 0 0.05, which is the threshold that we use. And therefore, we assume that there is a significant association. There is a significant association between the type of drink that you drink and falling on stage or not. And when I look here back to the table with the frequencies, I know that there's a much greater percentage of people who drank tequila and fell on stage. So my main conclusion is that there is an association between the type of drink that you have and falling on stage or not. And that if you drink tequila, um, there's a much greater likelihood that you will fall on stage. And just a final reminder, as I said before, we cannot assume causality with chi-square, right? So we can only say that there's an association between those variables, but we cannot assume with this test that one thing is causing the other, all right? So I hope you're now familiar how to run the chi-square test on SPSS, more or less how to interpret it, and somehow that's going to be useful for you. Absolute, all the absolute best in life. Listen to Bob Dylan, one of the greatest songwriters of all times. And yeah, all the best. See you later. Bye-bye.